You've probably noticed it's cherry season. We have Emmy Satrazimus with Rayleigh's here this morning to show us some different ideas, different things that you can do with cherries, which is phenomenal. You have a huge display here because I usually just grab the bag <laughs> and we go to the lake or go by the pool and we just devour the bag. Yes, cherries are very special. They're, they're delicious. Everybody loves cherries. And Rayleigh's cherries are just amazing. They're so sweet and juicy. I swear we have the best cherries. Best cherries, yes, okay. Yes, we do. We, Not a bad we one definitely source amazing cherries. So cherries are also also have tons of health benefits too, and I love talking about Good. them. Good, tell us, yes. Uh, actually, cherries are one of the uh, few fruits that actually has a lot of research to back up their health claims. Um, so cherries can actually help you sleep better, so they can improve really? the length and duration and quality of That's your sleep. That's what morning show employees need to hear. Yeah, okay. so tart cherry juice is linked to better sleep quality, and then also it helps kind of relieve muscle soreness after a workout too. So okay. if you're working out a lot, Tamara Deirdre, getting, they that, work out. getting that summer body going, right, cherries are a great post-workout sack. Okay. So you can eat them just plain like this, um, or we can get a little creative. We did a flatbread pizza here with some ricotta, arugula, balsamic glaze, and I put some pistachios on top. Tell me, <laughs> how are you pitting the cherries? Let's get to that, because you said you have a a trick. Yes, this is key. So if you're going to be cooking with cherries, you have to be able to pit them quickly. Otherwise, it's going to be quite tedious. Um, if you take a straw, you just pop it through the center. The seed comes right out. It's that easy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you need a special kind of straw? Um, I use a sturdier one. Okay. Um, but as long as you, yeah, yeah, as long as you have a good straw, it's easy. On the end here. Yeah. or either where side. the stem is. Either, either side, side goes right that's through. it. Yep, very easy. Okay. So we've got our grilled flatbread here, and then we also have some grilled uh, rockfish, which is uh, another great fish that we have, sustainable Yum. seafood. Uh, and we have a cherry, peach, and uh, red onion salsa on it. So this is our stone fruit salsa with a little bit of tagine for that nice little lime zest. A little bit of what? The tagine. Tagine. Yes. Oh, okay. It's yes, that, I have seen that. Yeah, yes, that I know exactly. that's common with fruit. Um, okay. And then we also have a barbecue sauce here. This is probably my favorite, a cherry barbecue sauce. I'm going to try yes. this Yes. So barbecue sauce is typically higher in sugar, but you can actually take a lot of that out by adding in cherries and you get that natural oh my sweetness. Gosh. Yeah. I could just eat that jar. Yeah, and you get What's all the in that? you get all the fiber and great benefits from cherries. So it's it's actually wow. cherries, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of brown sugar, um, some vinegar, oh onion, garlic. You know the typical barbecue sauce ingredients. Sure. Now let me ask you: When you are grilling this stuff, are you cooking the cherries? So for the salsa, it's not cooked. For the barbecue sauce, it is. For these, yes. So you can okay. actually heat them up. And cherries go really great with seafood. And it's kind of like okay. one of those things people Who don't knew? realize. Who Yeah. Now you know. And if you want to make any of these recipes, you can go to Rayleigh's.com. Yes. Emmy, thank you so much.